Dragons01 says hi everyone. Dragons01 says it is Dragon Gaming Kid Friendly Gaming here. Dragonzo one says I decided to do a different intro for once. Thank you, narrator. Okay. So, there's a beta out, and, um, you're going to definitely like how some of these features were, in fact, implemented. But that's okay. I'm here to tell you that there are some items that have finally got uses. Yay. I'm going to move my up thing up there. Where's a village? Oh, that sucks because I can't find a village. You know what? I'll just spawn some villagers then. Because I'm not lazy. What was it? Cope in my inventory. Don't want that. Yes, sir. The loom has actually a purpose now. You can now use it. And it's now got functionality. And you can now make different banners. The composter. Has a purpose now. Whoop. And it's there to make bone meal. Just like it does. Which doesn't make any sense the way it currently is, but that's okay. You can't really open anything else up, which absolutely sucks, but I close it up. Now, what I'm gonna do... Uh, let's open, um... Well, there is, are a couple of texture changes. I kind of like Redstone's, honestly. But, uh, banners, let's pick... Yeah, let's do that one, and then we're gonna do. Wait, can I? Then this is the stone cutter. I can take stone related blocks like this. Or... I don't know how this works. I I can't remember how it works, but I'll get used to it. The the campfire has actually gotten a new design. We we finally got shields for, and this has been a feature that everybody's been want, wanted. We've been asking when we were gonna get the shields. We have finally got them. I'm just gonna go right to the front. So I basically have to crash just to activate the shield. No big deal. And it also happens if it's in my main hand as well. Which that's what is right there. So if we take this map and we change the shields out for it, we can also crouch and use it there as well. So no big deal. We also got the bell, which is probably one of my favorite features. Let's place it down, and then I'm going to change myself out of this mode. To first person. Thank you. Okay, okay, I'll stop having fun. But you guys are kind of mean, okay? You, you guys are not going to let me have fun. By the way, there are a couple of extra changes, as I already mentioned. I, I don't really like the totem design, honestly, but hey. It was good as texture change, but yeah, it's not my cup of tea, honestly. Uh, what else should I mention? 
Let's see if the villagers react to this the same way that they do in the uh, Java edition right now. They Wandering Trader. Let's talk about the Wandering Trader for a second. Yeah. Ah, go. Cool. Let's talk about the, um... Aww. The villagers finally have a... The change, depending on when the biome is, so Aww. that looks different. Basically, both those are the same. Now let's uh, demonstrate with this villager here. Ah, uh, cool. Well, that doesn't happen, I guess. I don't know. Villager. Oh, I have to switch the settings. Difficulty of changing is pretty easy. Ah. Now they've changed the animation, and now they're attacking. Just like that. Ah. Which. Poor Raven. That Ravenger is going to be hard to take down when this finally gets implemented. Ah! But how, uh, let's talk about the Wandering Trader. Because the Wandering Trader is probably my favorite feature yet. Ah! Okay. He's also got a couple of llamas. They're pretty exclusive to this dude. And he always comes there. I can also probably go ah! well, I can trade with him. They have the badges. The training system has improved since our last time that we've had it. It actually, the way it used to work, and it doesn't show the, on this ah. one, but um, how it used to work was that you could, uh, you have to level the dude up so you would be able to see other traits that he'd have to offer. That's not the case. Ah. You can see all the trades from the get-go, and now you have to level them up to unlock the trades. But, come on, let's, let's face it. The llamas are the reason we, we're here. Boom, just like that. He's probably one of my favorites. Boom, villagers. Still kind of look the same. Ish. Fisherman. Let's just draw the Ravenger in uh, too bad. They uh, all start running away, uh, but the Ravenger is just killing them all. The loom. How this. Or, not the loom. The lectern. How the lectern is supposed to work. And I have no way to really demonstrate it. But the way it's supposed to work is that I place a book. That I've written on it. I can read it. But I can't edit it on there. And it's supposed to have some sort of rest and pulse. That I can. Emit off of it. Same thing with the. Compactor as well. And I think. Uh, we can also do. Slash. Effect. And they probably spelled that wrong. Uh. P. I don't know how to do that. Let's do the bad. No, it's not. We all probably all know what the, uh. Oh, fatal poison. Okay. This is. Bad. Omen. Syntax error. Unexpected bad underscore OME. And affected P greater than greater than bad underscore OME less than less than. Gave bad omen asterisk zero to dragons oh one for thirty seconds. I just basically just put it in there, but bad omen means if you hit a pillager that has a banner on the back of it for when those traveling pillager raids, then you get this effect that if you run into a village, automatically starts the raid. There's also a disable effect as well, and I think it's the um Mob event. 
so I can pillage your patrols, wandering trader. And I think that's it for now. It's a pillager patrols underscore event. Syntax error. Unexpected. Pillager underscore patrols underscore event. I Greater than greater than pillager underscore patrols underscore event less than less than. Oh boy. Slash. Actually, I think I can do this. No, that's not. That's, no, I have to do it here. I guess. I don't know. Slash. Effect. And there's also a. A uh, village hero. That's the one that is exclusive to the Bedrock Edition as of now. Hero. Let's go 50. And let's go 30. True. Gave hero of the village asterisk 30 to Dragon Zone 1 for 50 seconds. What's this? Woo! I was gonna trade with that dude. Jerk. Well, I guess I've got this guy to trade with. But here are the village. Makes it so that when you trade with these dudes, these very, very cool villager dudes, instead of 15 kelp or chicken, I think, no, 15 coal for an emerald, you now, it's now 12 emeralds. You get deducted a very good amount for all of those. Wait, you can buy the bells? Sweet. So from 30, it goes to 24. And from 13, well, it just kind of stays the same from there. But this is what I was referring to earlier. You also get an experience bar that if we trade with him enough times, which I'm absolutely an idiot and Forgot to grab a crap load of emeralds. I should have done that. Ugh. Ah. That's not what I'm wanting. I'm wanting to attack. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want you. Um. Ah. Where do you find the diamond? No, no, I want emeralds. Because that's what you want. You want emeralds. Ha. There you go. Uh, I'm just going to be trading. Trade. Ha. That also shows up as well. But I've locked out, been locked out of that trade. Aid for a little bit. Ha. Ha. Now I'm going to be able to trade again. I don't think I have that many emeralds. Or do I? No, I don't think I only. Yeah, but you can get locked out of trades as usual. They actually now have a badge you can wear. And Ravager is just a jerk. <laughs> can we just... The Nitwit actually has a badge, which I don't think... You can still not trade with him, which absolutely sucks, but... Other than that, I think that's all for this beta. And let me know if there's anything else that I missed. I'll definitely go searching around as well. But I'm going to come back to this sort of stuff. So. And, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next one. Bye.